and he was extremely loose with his relationships with women. I heard his funeral got stopped because women were fighting each other. Oh, well, you can't talk about it like you're unrelated to it. This lovely couple is Daniel and Anna. Huh? Vince? Vincent Brooks? What? Wait, do I know you? It's me, Daniel. We went to elementary school together. Oh, uh... What? You don't remember me? Oh, so you're Vincent. You're different from what I imagined. Don't say that. You see, Vincent, uh, I'm different from back then. I'm not the one tagging along. Now I'm the leader. I'm the heir to a successful business. A business heir, huh? Because of that. Wait, I heard your voice somewhere. Was it yesterday? Come to think of it. Maybe I had some premonition of our meeting today. Anyway, I can't believe you don't remember me, man. I'm sorry. You got me. Speaking of yesterday, you were having a nightmare. I had a strange dream, though I don't remember it well. How about you sleep in your own bed tonight? Or in hers? Anna. Excuse me. Which do you think are more pitiful? Men or women? This one? <laughs> a lot of people say that. When asked whether they'd like to return as a man or woman in the next life, the majority of people say they'd prefer to be a woman. Some scientists have even predicted that men will become extinct. It's the truth. Extinct? Apparently the Y chromosome is quite useless compared to the X chromosome. So it's possible. And what'll happen to the human race if men go extinct? Maybe there'll be a system where women can fertilize each other and bear children. Men try just as hard to live their lives too. Isn't nature harsh? But on the whole, I think women have it harder. Being manipulated by stupid guys, being ground down by life. I did something I shouldn't have. What are you talking about? It is the cross I must bear. <laughs> Wait, a call? Whose number is this? seen someone else. <laughs> Tonight is the Inquisition. Hurry up. You'll be judged there. Am I seeing things? Uh, 
Perhaps we all deserve pity, regardless of our genders. Huh? You gonna bother a cop on his break? You wanna ask me about that incident? I'm not gonna be much help. But it's men around your age who are dying. So be really careful. You don't seem too interested. Yeah, no evidence has come up yet, and I'm on another case. Gotcha. I'm Morgan. If I find anything out about this incident, I'll tell you. So don't worry about the strange rumors. Well, I don't really care about the rumors. You got mail. Gotta have to be a real man. Actually, see, only half a man's worth is in his upward mobility. He unleashes his full potential when he's surrounded by women. That's why a real man shares his love with as many as he can. Flowers of femininity blooming in the shiny rays of a man's love. I'm not after women. Then you're after me. Not a chance. Man, my head hurts. That's because all you do is play Rapunzel. You should try it. I'm sure that princess is a hottie. She's a bunch of pixels. Seriously. What? Are you one of those guys who can only get turned on by real life women? Uh, it depends. Still drinking? <sighs> Lately, going home to an empty house really hurts, you know? I made up my mind. I'm a man, I'm making a decision. Today I'm gonna, I'm gonna, here we go. <sighs> oh, sorry, I was just talking to Erica. Hey, is Toby really into Erica? Well, kids drool over girls like that. Well, but <clears throat> it's Erica. What are we gonna do if something happens between them? Well, whatever. Everyone has issues these days. Um, so, if it's okay with you, Want to go stargazing? I, I know a good place. One that most people don't know about. Really? Where? Vincent, get out of my face! Did you hear, Vincent? Toby bought a car. Yeah, I got a good deal on it since it was last year's model. I mean, you know, it's still a brand new car, so it's perfectly fine. <laughs> well, as long as the seats are in good shape. <laughs> I'll make sure everything's lubed up. I'm, I'm at the car. You know, not, not. Oh, God. Is there anywhere else you want to go? I'll, I'll take you anywhere. <laughs> He's so cute. <sighs> this month, I'm running really late. I think I'm pregnant. Me, raising a family? Doesn't exactly sound like a recipe for success. Ah, that was way too close to much. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I know this is sudden, but here's some trivia for you, as you seem to have finished your glass. There are a lot of cocktails with the name Fizz in them. But do you know where this came from? Fizz-type cocktails are a distilled drink, plus lemon, plus sugar, and soda water. Fizz refers to the sound the soda makes. They're all sweet, so even lightweights can wash them down like juice. And that was the cocktail trivia for tonight. Empty already? Yo, Erica, I got an order. 
Do you want another drink? I'll try sake. Sake, please. Beer. You got it. Here's your drink. Sorry, but we're gonna be closing soon. I need you to listen carefully. When a girl tells her lover she's pregnant, her heart is full of anxiety. I know. Catherine has to be worried. You have to call her. I said I know. You've been getting preachy lately. finds out that I was cheating. Mm. I know this is sudden, but here is some trivia about Japanese sake, now that you've emptied your sake cup. Do you know what the difference between shochu and seishu is? Since the Chinese character for burn is in the word shochu, many people think shochu is made by heating it up. Actually, Shochu is merely distilled sake. So people who like shochu might have a high tolerance for alcohol. And that is the trivia for tonight. Empty already? You still want a drink? No, I'm cool. drinking uh oh did you yeah i have when i was young especially when i was in my 30s i started to blank out on amounts i used to be able to handle in my 20s and then i'd wake up lying next to a complete stranger ah so it has happened i'm in a complete stranger's house that hasn't happened to me I'm at the police station, stark naked, right? No. The nakedness of woman is the work of God. To misappropriate the musings of a certain someone. In front of God's work of art, it's only natural that your faculties are preoccupied. Well, just don't worry about it. Uh, guess I won't. I'm gonna head home. Excuse me. Ah, uh, shit. It's this late already? If I don't go home, I'll make Catherine worry again. Hey. Hey, Vincent. We're all heading home. How about you? Yeah, I'll head home too. Are you good to go home right now, Vincent? I'm fine. I'm just going home to drink there. I might be sticking my nose in your business, but don't push yourself too hard. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, don't get too wasted, you guys. Your old bodies can't take that kind of punishment anymore. You hear me? <laughs> Says the only guy leaving. Don't try and make us look like old men just because you have no staying power. You're the only weak sauce one here. Hey, hey, I was just joking. Just joking. Catch you later. Oh 
but I plan to go back to work after having the baby. We'll just have to split up the housework, okay? You can't throw your clothes everywhere anymore. You're going to have to watch yourself from now on. You know what I mean, right? And all your late night drinking isn't cheap, you know. So I'll be handling all our bank accounts. Tonight's stage is the Inquisition, where one is tried based on the weight of his sins. 